Okay, this marks the end of our little journey through the Unix tools. I hope you find it interesting and useful. I hope you got an idea how the Unix command line can be an extremely efficient and productive environment. And even though many of the tools we've discussed have already been written decades, in some cases almost half a century ago, they have passed the test of time and are still extremely widely used today. And I have no doubt that you will encounter them in your life in industry or research in many different contexts. Um, as I mentioned in the introduction, you can't really expect to become fluent in these things by just listening to a lecture. This was not just meant to give you a taste, an overview introduction to the uh, essential concepts, but you actually have to try to solve your own real world problems to become fluent and familiar with all of these. I hope I've also pointed you at enough documentation, info pages, man pages and so on, so you can quickly fill in all the gaps that we haven't covered here. If you want to read more, I've prepared on the course material web pages uh, A4 printable um, versions, manual pages of uh, Bash, Make, Perl, and, and a couple of other of the larger tools uh, that we've discussed here. And you will also find there links to hints about how you can install, for example, Linux on your own PC if you haven't done this yet. If you find any mistakes on the course pages, in the recordings, in the notes, please do let me know. I'm mgk25 at Kamegak. I hope you enjoyed the course and I wish you good luck, especially for your projects. Goodbye.